Welcome back to the party, dudes. Mega Man. It's Alex. Gerard. What's up? Beard Bros. Beard Bros time. So, um, last time we beat Freeze Man, which is actually the fourth of the first four bosses yeah, that you should bad. beat. I messed that up. Yeah. That was my fault. Yeah, that's, that's our That was really that's my our fault. Bad. So, what we're going to do, what we're gonna do uh, today is we're going to go back and we're going to collect a thing that we need from this level, uh, since we already beat it, uh, that's going to help us with uh, some stuff later down the line when we need to collect some stuff. I'm also super stoked. A lot of you guys on Twitter were showing a lot of the love for Mega Man 7, which made me so happy. Yeah, dude, everybody was like, yeah, Mega... Well, because, you know what? I think that everybody is just so hungry for anything Mega Man at this point that, like, <laughs> even us playing this old-ass Mega Man game is, uh... is, like, fun in its, on its own. I guess that's true, yeah. Absolutely. Right. I don't know. So one of the cooler things about Mega Man 7 that I really adore versus uh, the earlier Mega Mans, and I don't know if this is, I haven't played Mega Man 6, so I don't know, but you'll see through this throughout this playthrough, um, one of the reasons why I chose to play this game uh, is not only because I, I love it, but uh, the Game Grumps, when they first started playing this game, uh, I loved watching them play it, but I got really bummed they, they missed a lot of the little atmospheric secrets in the game. Um, just like the stuff that we found when we did, uh, like when we went through X2. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, that's kind of why, that's not the main reason why, but one of the few that I really wanted to take, give it a, a second look, if you know what I mean. Right. Oof, that was a bad move. I, I might be in trouble. Oh, there we go, you're back. Yeah, so, ooh, yay. Uh, right now what we're doing is, uh, we got Rush Search... Uh, last time we were here, and I made the mistake of uh, not utilizing him to get a, uh, a secret item in this level, uh, which is the exit uh, item. It allows us to escape the level, uh, right? Any level from then on out. We so just you, need so you definitely have rush search, yeah. right? See, this is rush coil, rush coil. You know where it is it precisely, or...? Yeah, it's right at the end, right outside of, uh, Freeze Man's room. Uh-huh. On the raised platform, just before the one with the door to Freeze Man's room. Gotcha, okay. So we're gonna try and find that, and then... Someday, if you go and play this with your grandchildren, you can use... <laughs> you can use, use these it. videos as a guide. Hey, who knows, man? Maybe. I'm ready for it. Did we not get that E-Take? No, we do. It, it replenishes every level. Oh. Every time you die. Nice little fun, fun thing for us here. That E-Tink saved us last time. Dude, that bear is so well animated. I just want- I know I said that last time, but like, look at him! <laughs> looks great! He looks like a Disneyland ride. <laughs> Have you guys ever been to Disney World and gone on, uh, Expedition Everest? Yeah, absolutely. That shit is real. That is- <laughs> That's that bear. So real. That bear is from that ride. That's not trivia, that's, uh, what that's, do you call that's that? That's fact? No, that's, uh... A that's a guess. My guess is that that sprite of that bear is the same thing that you see... Oof. ...on Expedition Everest, playing the part of the Yeti. Okay. Doesn't, it doesn't really make sense, but... Alright, so where's... So I believe it's right there. Where I'm, where I'm standing? Up there, up there. Up there. Or, or, it might just be right on the edge there, right before the door. Just using Rush Search. Try it, like, right there. Right here? Yeah. Come on, Rush. Find it. Is he doing it? Uh, let's see. I don't think so. Nah, he's not doing it. Try it a little bit... Try it a little bit farther back on the ledge, because he's, like, completely off the ledge. Come on. How do you... He just... He's being lazy. He's being lazy? Yeah. Is that part of this game? No, he's just... Let's see here. Up. Oh. That's he might his have bark. found it. He found something. Boom. Yeah, there it is. The exit All part. All right. Uh, which means that you can leave the the level after you beat it. Yes. Now. Come on, let us leave now. Bam! Look at that. Bam! 
That's how it's done. Screen, also, because we show the password the screens, password you can just screen. you can just like play along with us. Yeah, you can like Freeze jump in. It. Okay, right, so, <laughs> so I ruined the order, which I apologize for. Whatever, uh, but it's whatever. Like We're official. gonna start with Burst Man, right? Yeah, Burst Man is the one we need to do. Uh, I believe he's the guy on the bottom. Uh, yeah, that's him. The only thing that we need to do uh, in this level that's extra is Burst that Man. We need get to get the R. Yeah, we need to get the R, and it is uh, near part where the water level's going up and down. Yeah, yeah. I love the music in this. Is this game available on any virtual console? I don't believe so. I want it. It's so good. I guess I could get it for my Super Nintendo, but I bet you it's gonna be like... It's pretty expensive. Yeah. I'm so glad... Uh, you know, it's funny, I I actually didn't... I lost my card of this game, and then my dad was Found just, it? like, cleaning up the, uh, the garage the other day, and he's like, here, here's a bunch of games that... You lost I, I thought I lost. That's so dope. And sure enough, this was in there. I was really excited. That's so dope. Did you guys watch uh, SGDQ? I've been watching it like crazy. Did you watch the Mega Man 3 run through with Checkers? Yeah, it was crazy. Shout out to Checkers. That was tight as hell. That was so good. You'll see this. This one should be pretty easy to see. The it's R. Like in plain sight. Yeah. Do, 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 do. You got Met. Met making his cameo in this game. <laughs> Is he just barely in this game? Can uh, Alex, do me a favor. Yeah. For the sake of Mega Man, can you... F do, I don't know if we talked about this in Mega Man X2 when we Let's Played it, but can you find any information on Met? Like, what he means? What he means? Like, what is his deal? I want to know as much as I can about Met. So, yeah. Met is, uh... A mechanoid. Uh... Mechanoid? enemy from the Mega Man franchise, and their actual English name is Metal, uh, Metal, uh, which comes from, like, All Helmet, or Metool, uh, but yeah. Met comes from the NES, uh, instruction manual, uh -huh. and, uh, they didn't have any sort of consistency with their localization until 2004, when, uh, the word Metar was used in every Western Mega Man game from then on. Metar? Yeah, Metar. Okay. Also, they're called hard hats sometimes, and that's because they have an invincible hard hat that they wear. And so maybe Mega Man should have worn it instead of his helmet. Well, that's what the reference was in the beginning of this, of this game. Yeah. Alright, so you said it's in the beginning of this up and down area? Uh, it should be fairly impossible to miss. Okay. But, like, because he's so popular, there's, like, a bunch of sub-bosses and stuff that look like him, too. Like, uh, in Mega Man, in Mega Man 4, there's a giant Met, uh, in the, in Wily's Castle. That's right. Called Metal Daddy. And, uh, in, uh, Mega Man 6, uh, there's, like, Wait uh, for it. There's, like, a tank that's driven by a Met. Our favorite Mega Man trope. Did you get the R? I didn't see it. Did I pass it? Let me see. Proceeding through the area where the water rises and falls above the spikes. Above the spikes? Yeah. I don't think I've gone there yet. It looks like the platform has like green shit in it inside of it. Yeah, I don't I haven't gone there yet. Alright. At least if, I don't think so. If not, I'm replaying the level, so. Dead. Oh! I knew it. It was Later, in my man. bones. It was in my bones. It's cool, I was dude. radioactive at that po that moment. Yeah, so this is where I am, Alex. This is the area. Maybe you... It doesn't look like that in the I don't picture, think I'm there yet. For the record. If we're being real, that this doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't think we're there yet. So, uh... Burst Man... Is, uh... Apparently, he was originally created to guard this chemical plant in Edo City. Uh, but then Dr. Wily stole him and turned him into a weapon. Apparently he loves festivals. And that's why <laughs> he shoots his bombs, is because they're like fireworks. To him, they're fireworks? Yeah. And, uh... Because of the liquid substances in his body, uh, he is weak 
to Freeze Cracker. Freeze Cracker. Which is the one that you have. Okay. And Scorch uh, Wheel. All right, so this is it right here. Yeah, there it is. There, see there. It's hard. It's pretty hard to miss. That's what I was saying. Um. Yeah, hilarious. Um. So apparently, we actually did good because the Freeze Cracker is his like number one weakness. Oh, great. You know what we should do as our bonus for this? What? We should do. Uh, what do we? Do we already make a promise? Uh, I think we did. What was it? I forget. Oh, great. Mega Man 8, I think. Mega Man 8? I think it was like, I was we were, I was gonna show off the enemies of Mega Man 8. Like Is that Clown what it Man. Was? I forget. Don't we already keep made making pro promises. We, I already made a promise. I All forget right. what it was. Do we wanna just do. I'm just gonna say what I was gonna yeah, say well, anyway. We got promises to promises, dude. We should play some of uh, Street Fighter across Mega Man. Oh, yeah. I'm down for that. That'd be fun. Um, it's only on PC, right? Only on Steam? Yeah, yeah. I don't even think it's on Steam. It's free. I think you just like from Capcom. Yeah, I think you just download it. Um, hilarious. Do 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 do. Apparently, uh, Burst Man's also been in the manga. All right, here we go. And he appears actually before the Mega Man Seven stuff happens in the manga. Oh, this boss. Uh, he's he's a lot like Bomb Man. Both of them love festivals and fireworks. And apparently, uh, of all the of all the uh, monsters in Mega Man Seven, of all the not the monsters, the robot masters in Mega Man Seven, uh, him and Spring Man are the only two that don't have a counterpart in Battle Network. Ugh. He also has the same weaknesses as Slash Man, who is the first boss of the second set, and he is the only boss that's uh, immune to Rush, the Rush Super Adapters Hyper Rocket Buster. So think about that for Ooh. a second. That was an easy fight. It was. Well, it's it's kind of clenchy. It's clench worthy. It was. It it's was very clench worthy. Like you could have hit the spikes. I was, I was, I was that's, scared. That's I, was, a real, I was a little terrified. I like this like light blue Mega Man. It looks like a shiny version, like <laughs> like a shiny Pokemon. Shiny Mega Man. Yeah. Did you? What was that? Oh, was that the Burst Man yeah. weapon? Yeah. The, the danger, danger rat fires, fires out a bomb, bomb encased in a bubble. Does, does it? it? Yes. But it can also be used to encase other things besides bombs. Yeah! <laughs> that bit of him being like, Yes. Yes, <laughs> I am Dr. Light. No, just you him. You get danger rap. Mega Man basically just tells you what it does, and then he's like, Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Mega. Nice, Rock. Good job, Rock, Mega. Rock, m Mega. M mega Rock. So next uh, you gotta do Cloud Man. Yeah, should we call it or keep going? Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's call it for now. Ooh, an early episode, okay. <laughs> it's not early, we More do early -ish. 15 minutes. Yeah, that's true. Well, question of the day, Alex. Ah, oh, yes, question of the day. How about, wh what is your favorite, your favorite Mega Man boss and why? That's good, and we I'll, can do that. You, you can even cross into the X series. Okay. So Mega Man or Mega Man X series, your favorite Maverick and or Blank man. Flame Mammoth? Is that his name? Flame Mammoth, that's your favorite? Yeah. Uh, I think mine's gonna be Launch Octopus. I like Flame Mammoth because his stage is big. Yeah. I like, I like, uh, Launch Octopus because of his level. Not his stage. I like his, uh, I mean his, his room where you fight him is big. Yeah. I gotcha. Or is that Flame Stag? No, no, you're right. Well, Flame Stag's both. Flame Stag is more like, is it la laterally Is bigger? his name Flame Mammoth or is it something else, man? Flame Mammoth. That's right. I think but it's, it's also Flame Stag. Flame Stag is in Mega Man X two. It's right. a it's a flame deer. Yeah, Flame Mammoth. Yeah, Flame Mammoth is the one with the trunk. There's two that are just flame. Yeah, there's a, there's always someone with flame. We're gonna find someone flaming here. All right, all right. Well, you guys know the question. Yeah, I like the Flame Mammoth boss fight. I'm I'm all about that that launch octopus. There you go. All right. Flame so. Mammoth looks like a Pokemon. Kind of, yeah. He looks like the final evolution of, like, a fire starter. <laughs> Alright, guys. See you tomorrow. Yeah, man. Later, well, man. Later, man. Later, man.